Just follow my lead. Alright. Hey yo, you know the science, the science, we focus it real heavy. You know the slogan, got focus if not get some. This is your Arrow Tuesday Talks for Tuesday, December 29th, 2020. The roller coaster ride known as 2020 is almost over. So I appreciate everybody that rocks with me. I hope that uh, your families are safe, you're safe, you're uh, following all the protocols and just trying to be cool. So today, you know, I said eventually I was going to start having guests, but I got somebody near and dear to my heart. He's going to chime in. We're going to keep it short, but I got my man Reggie Clemens, a.k.a. Richie Carlisle. What's up, bro? What's up, man? How you doing, man? Glad to be here today. All right. You know what I'm saying? All right. It's an honor. So, so what I want to talk about today on on Arrow Tuesday Talks, you know, my man Reggie's a media guy. He does radio and uh, all kinds of different things. Um, We just had this situation up in Columbus. So I don't don't want to be too long-winded about it. Most of y'all have seen it, but here's how it goes. Well, first of all, the word for the day is accountability. All we have ever wanted in any of these situations is accountability. Yeah. And even if it's not like an immediate accountability, but at some point accountability. So what I want to do before we get into the entire situation is I want to give major kudos and props to the chief of police of Columbus and the mayor of Columbus. Right. Because I, what I give them credit for is that they didn't waste no time. Mm-hmm. Chief of police was like, give me your gun. Give me your badge. Your uh, your, your your body cam wasn't on. You're fired. Yeah. So how did that make you feel? Did you feel good about that side I mean, of it? You know, it's a long overdue. Columbus is like, you know, one of the worst police departments in America when it comes to this on a per capita basis. So, you know, it's, it's past due time that they've taken these steps. Absolutely. Absolutely. So for those of you that don't know the situation, uh, here's pretty much what happened. So Andre Hill... Uh, is is on his way home or whatnot, and he's in his driveway, what? right? Yeah. So the officers pulled up on him, what? and basically, from how I got the story, was it a cell phone that he pulled out or something, or he was just in the driveway? I think he was just in the driveway. Yeah, he's just in the driveway, right? And so here here is the issue. The officer is supposed to have his body cam on. He does not have his body cam on oh, when he, he appears on the that's scene. That's why he got right. it. That's, yeah, he so, got, he got him out, out of there for that. But let's even fast forward because, you know, I don't I don't like to speculate. Reggie, you know me and you talked. I don't do yeah. conspiracy theories. I like to talk about the stuff we have. So here's what we know. When the body cam turned on, you hear the officer asking for backup, right? Uh, officer Coy, Adam Coy, who is a 19-year veteran. We got to add that. He's a 19-year veteran. Of the police force in Columbus, Ohio. You've seen all this stuff going on on yeah. the planet as far as Black Lives Matter, people of color being mistreated. So you really don't have a lot of excuses. No. You know what I'm saying? So let's go back to this. So he flips the body camera up, right? When he flips the body camera up, Andre Hill's already on the ground moaning and shot. And from the way I'm hearing him on the video... The first time I saw him, I'm like, well, why isn't anybody attending to him the entire time? He's, I need, I need help. I need backup. I need this. I need that. Backup for what? Okay. The first thing should be medical attention. Exactly. He, he's done. He's not going to get up. He's not going to oppose you. He's not going to fight you. So I have problems with it on so many levels. So I say I applaud uh, the Columbus mayor. I applaud the police chief for their immediate action. And firing the officer. Fire, period. So if you want to be a police officer, you got to uh, apply for the job again. And then, of course, the planet's seen this. Right. But accountability. Moving forward in 2021, it's obvious I'm not about to sit up here and sell false hope. I don't see this stopping anytime soon. The issue is above. the fact that. Police unions need to be redone. You know, they have entirely too much power and sway. You know, you have situations across the country, particularly in Cleveland, where cops can get fired, convicted or unconvicted, and then get their job back through the union with full benefits and full back pay for hopping on top of vehicles and unloading rounds into a car. It's a structural thing, bro. I mean, flat out, you just said it, because, like, for me... um. 
And then we gonna get ready to close it out. I won't like these to be too long. For me, it's just like this moving forward. Now, the police are painted as the enemy. So I'm a firm believer in whatever there is, there is good and bad in everything. I've known cops that have had successful careers that were cool. There are good cops and there are bad cops. There are good structures like what you were just saying, and there are bad structures. So there's a couple of things that need to happen here. The bad structures need to be turned into good structures, right? Um, the, the bad cops need to be weeded out, right? And we need to make sure there is an even balance as far as the type of officer that is on the force. I have a, ra I have a, a radical idea regarding police work. I think okay. that you should. I think that it should be privatized, meaning that different security companies should bid for the contract for, let's say, the Cleveland Police or the Columbus Police Department. Right. And they should be able to rebid for these jobs on an annual or biannual basis. And one key factor should be how are you interacting with the public? Are you Absolutely. using a lawful force? Absolutely. She had these metrics in there. If, they, if a particular security company doesn't meet, yeah. Then you know, and, and then again, yeah. One of the other things we're finding out, then, then we're gonna close this thing out, and get to what we gotta get. We're gonna talk to that, talk about that a little bit on the end, but That's um, the whole other thing. <laughs> we, but we got we got to push yeah, it off. Gotta, but yeah. um, I think what you're saying is very true. I think that. Being that, like else. Yeah, that's that's the that's the really the problem. So hopefully in 2021, all different places across the map, accountability is what we need. You don't want all this crazy stuff to happen. You don't want the rioting. You don't want the protests. You don't want things to get out of hand because if this keeps going on, you're just going to have more and more situations where. People are going to come outside and burn cities down. I'm telling y'all. Flat out. People are going to come outside and burn cities down. So, yeah. 2021, what we want when it comes to any of this. Of course, I would love to be a dreamer and say, I don't want to see it at all anymore. Right? I don't. And I really don't. I know Reggie doesn't. But no. at the end of the day, that's an unrealistic goal. Accountability and restructuring. So, we added another word. Accountability and restructuring all right but once again i applaud uh columbus ohio's police chief and mayor for acting immediately acting accordingly and also they made sure that there was some accountability right off rip now the question is is this going to be a murder situation whatever it's going to be but we need to start making sure that from a legal standpoint a cop gets prosecuted just the same as anybody else if they commit a crime. If it's proved that it is murder, it is murder. It needs to be tried as a murder. Right. Period. All right. And that's the Arrow Tuesday Talks for today. Appreciate y'all. Last one of the year. So, hey, man, a couple things. If you have not picked up me and my wife's album, The Warrens, Life, Love, War, Us, as my son is throwing balls and stuff over here, which means it's time for this to be over. Right. Please go to the website, www.thewarrencle.com. Subscribe. Also, be on the lookout for Tales from the Club. Hashtag Club Tales CLE on social media. We're coming back. And you know, for me, it's hashtag AeroVision. And then look out for the Richie Carlisle Project. Some dope music, just dope hip hop in general. All right, you got anything you want to say, Reggie? Like close it out, man. You know, um, shout out to you know everybody that's rocking with uh, Juke Radio, We Up Radio uh, dot com. Uh, debut album Come here, boy. February. We gonna we gonna go for February. We, we, we gonna talk about that. We got camera. February. Yeah. Shoot for February. Come here. I want you to say hi real quick. All right. Hi. You ever seen this guy on social media? I got through it. Say what up, y'all. What's up, y'all? Say peace. <laughs> peace. All right, you gonna go? You ready? All right, y'all. See you peace. in 2021.